so that that's good. So yeah, Google Photos is good, but it's it's good because uh, it's. Uh, I'll open that up right quick. <coughs> it's good because it. Uh, at least you you know if you back it all up to there, then uh, you won't lose it completely. It takes a while to open up Chrome because it uses so much memory and everything. And you can't really, I can't like play videos because cause this is going, this is really on my Linux box going through VNC through the network to the Windows box. I don't have it on the KVM because I've got four computers on. I've got the whole thing full and I, I just didn't, I don't really use it that, that much actually. have been lately with these phones, but since I started backing up the phones to it. But normally, uh, I have my four machines that I use: my laptop, my main desktop, that red the one with the red lights, and then my server. And those are the ones I always need to get to. So, um, the one with the red light. If it wasn't for the heat and the noise factor, I would leave that one. Uh, I would make that uh, one with the red lights be my my personal backup server and let it run all the time. But I just can't stand having it run all the time, so I just turn it on and back things up and then turn it back off. It used to be my main box until I got it's a dual core and uh, I think it has three yeah three gig RAM but it, it was getting to where it couldn't keep up with the internet. It's funny people used to say you know you don't need that much computer to surf just to surf the internet but actually flash and uh, all the other stuff on the internet on the web pages using up more more me uh, video memory and more system resources than anything else I do except for when I render a video so um, actually playing videos uses up more than rendering a video Google photos <coughs> so anyway this one uh, the one I'm on right now going through BNC to the Windows box is uh, is quad core with four gig only 2.6 megabytes of memory. So um, there's a screenshot out of my phone. There's one of my last videos. That's the last video that it backed up. I don't know which one it is. It may be. No, no, those haven't been copied over. What I'm doing right now hasn't been copied over to the backup yet. So. But. Uh, I think that's the one where I didn't know it was on. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah, it is. It's the one where I didn't know it was on. That is on for ten minutes or something, five minutes. And I, uh, I decided to read. I noticed that I couldn't see the top corner of the monitor. I couldn't tell that. So I decided to move it, move the camera around, and get it to where I could see it. Yeah, I talk to myself sometimes. Can you tell? So, uh, <coughs> that's, uh, that was the, the uh, that was the video I got when I thought it was off. Uh, then, uh, then I went and, uh, started doing the thing on the laptop, you know, copying the files over, everything was going well, and I didn't have GTK on the laptop, and I didn't want to stop and install it, so I thought, well, I'm recording it with the phone, I'll just let that do well, it wasn't recorded. I had actually turned it off when that, at the end of that video. I'm thinking I was turning it on for the next video. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. So if you truly want to back up your phone, your SD card on your phone, then uh, you need to take it out and put it in. You can put it in your, you know, I, you put it in your USB. If you got a USB adapter, most most your SD cards these days do at least come with a uh, SD card adapter, a regular size SD card adapter. So you put it. In, but I've only got the only machine I have that has an SD card slot is that laptop. So I'd have to be doing it over the network, you know. So I was really glad when I saw that that little strontium with the USB because I mean I can put that in any of my machines, <coughs> and it's turned out to be really nice. So yeah. I'll, uh, well, of course, this is what, in the Windows machine, I always do that. My, uh, most people don't even do that, but uh, it, sometimes you can have trouble in there. You know, often, very often, you can have trouble. You pop, pop something out and push it back in, and then it, uh, a 
put something else in there and it won't recommend you know won't work but if you'll go up there and say eject it now since there's two in there and I don't know which one I just ejected because I wasn't really paying any attention I'm going to eject them both first before I pull any of them out yeah it just says mass well then no, it says the name right there starting them too but I don't really remember which one was in which slot so there we go two little SD cards with adapters very handy okay uh, so I'm gonna put that back in my phone and fire it back up make sure it's all working good and uh, but that's I think that's the end of that video and uh, we'll um, just call that done and uh, all right this is done thanks for watching bye bye Phone.